sale is the best time to shop with an extra 30% off today at Macy's. There's nothing I love more than clothes that feel good on my body, look good, and serve a purpose beyond just wearing them. I feel really grateful, especially because I feel like in the past couple of weeks, I've been like, what is going on with me? Am I a little depressed? Like, I was spending a lot of time watching TV, just like, not really leaving my house as much as I should, and... Yo, it's a chatty intro, so I apologize, but I just realized, I feel like I have this realization every now and then, but like truly the people that I surround myself with are some of the best people ever and most kindest, caring, intentional people. And I just, I feel like I have a really good support system. Like, I'm texting my friend, Courtney, and we're just, like, catching up on each other's lives a little bit and then just asking each other, like, how can I be praying for you? And I, it's just honestly so nice because last week was a lot and... Honestly, mentally, I've been struggling with some old habits and I have tools in my toolkit now, thanks to therapy, that have helped me work through and not go back to old habits and like try to practice some new ones. But Therapy is extremely helpful and I'm very thankful to be able to have the opportunity to afford it in some way and um, work on myself, but also having a great support system, surrounding myself with really good people is just, it's just essential. Like it's just so good when you have good people around you, it just makes you feel like you can be a really good person and do better in the world so yeah I just am very thankful to be surrounded by people who are really kind and loving and like my friend Marie is like texting me suggestions of like you know for things that I'm kind of looking for and is always super helpful to me and I just like really appreciate the support that I have in my life and the people that I have in my life. And they're truly just amazing people. The women in my life are just like the best. I have the best people around me and I'm just so thankful for that. And I hope that y'all have good people that you're surrounding yourself with who not only want the best for you, but push you to be better and want you to be better. Like. They take your wins and make it their own and they're like, yeah, you being successful is me being successful and like you being happy is me being happy. I mean, like not taking on that fully, but you know what I mean? Like celebrating each other, I think is super, super important. So yeah, I'm just, I, I felt compelled to like share that because it's so important to surround yourself with the right people and 
when you find good people, solid people in your life, like hold on to them and be kind to them in turn. Like just because they're kind to you doesn't mean that you can't reciprocate. You, you totally can. You're very capable of giving kindness just as much as you receive. So yeah, anyways, let's get on with uh, Monday. Y'all, I just bought tickets to Denver ThriftCon. I wanted to go last year, but I found out too late, and so my friend and I are going. Also, <laughs> I'm on page 223, Empire Storms. The bomb that just got dropped about family ties. Like, obviously, us as readers, we've known the whole time. But this one person is finding out. Yo. Politics. You really gotta be keeping secrets to your, to your heart. Because the way these people use other people and information insane but also like it's strategic in a good way for their goals but it's good for them but is it good for the other party debatable questionable for sure but yo things are about to go down that's all I can say. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow.
Does it say it anywhere else in the requirements form about like that form? That and it doesn't say that for any other form, right? Like, yeah, where is he getting that from? Happy Tuesday. Um, I have eye boogers. Ooh. Something that I've been doing is making sure that the night before I set out the clothes that I'm going to wear both to the gym and for the day, and if I have like an event at night or something, like today, I'm having dinner to celebrate my 12-year friend anniversary with Melanie. Crazy. Um, yeah, I set out all my clothes the night before. And I feel like it just makes life so much easier. Because I'm someone who's like kind of late to almost everything. And I am really trying to not be late. I'm not late to everything now, like I've gotten a lot better, but there are times where I used to be late to everything <laughs> and I was like, I need to change this habit. So something new that I've been implementing is setting out my clothes the night before and getting myself ready the night before. So all that I have to do in the morning is put it on and it just makes life so much easier. And I check the weather so I know exactly what I want to wear and you have time at night so like why not I feel like I need to get a stand for my phone I just, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? If you want to purge so bad, do it. <laughs> See what the client says about that. Like I was just like, what are you saying? Just left somebody people and had dinner with Melanie to celebrate our 12 year friend anniversary. The food was so good. I've also never had tiramisu and it's my first time. And y'all, that is my new favorite dessert. It was so good. But now I'm gonna head back home and get ready for tomorrow. But yeah, we had dinner at Somebody People and it was so good. The tiramisu was so good. I finally understand the hype. I did not know that I was missing such an amazing dessert. Also, like, tiramisu typically has a lot of, like, dairy in it. And Somebody People is like a plant-based restaurant. So it's going to be dairy free there and it was incredible. But yeah, now I'm just going to head home and plan for tomorrow since I'm really liking putting out my clothes for both like workouts and for like work as well. 
I think that's been the move for me. So, just gotta figure out where I'm going. I've never been this way before. Oh, okay, now I know where I am. This is a unique way. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow for Wednesday. So this week, all I really had time for is to do 30 minute workouts. But today I did a little bit longer because I did core exercises, which is, in my opinion, different from core strengthening exercises, more different than like ab exercises. So I stopped doing like crunches and like things where you have to like bend your core, like your core being like this part of you. Um, I stopped doing those exercises and I started doing like walking kettlebells where I, that's what I'm calling them. I don't know if that's like the official name. I don't think it is, but you hold like a heavy kettlebell, at least one side of your body. You try to like walk straight and without bending, without like moving your upper body as much. And you just like walk that back and forth. Um, I've done it where I have like a heavier weight on one side and a lighter weight on the other and walk to try to keep like my core as like straight without bending and doing like a lot of movement, just kind of like walking straight like that. And I've noticed a difference in me like carrying heavier items. My core is a lot stronger than doing like those crunches. I know like getting abs and all that stuff is like you know, definitely a goal for a lot of people, but I was like, you know what? I just really want to be strong overall. And I'm really interested in doing sprint training because I've heard the statistic of like many adults over the age of like 30, 35 stop sprinting and then they're never able to do that again. Um, and not able to like be fast and move fast. And I'm just like, I don't want that to be me. So I'm really interested in training like an athlete and doing like, just like footwork trainings and stuff like that. I used to do it when I was like in middle school, a little bit in high school, but I'm like, I know I can be fast. I'm not super fast, but I know I can run fast. I just have to, be in the mood to do it. And I'm like, I just need to do it. And my gym has like a turf section where it's like very optimal to do that. But I feel like I would feel embarrassed or just shy. I don't know. But I can't let other people's perceptions of me hold me back from my goals and doing what I want to do. So I just got to let that go. Got to let that go. 
Anyways, I have an hour and a half to like get ready, eat breakfast, and also do a little bit of work before my first meeting today. So I'm gonna do that and tell you what my agenda is after I get ready before I make breakfast. All right. Here is my agenda for today. We'll do like a little, where should I do the side thing? We'll do the side thing here. So one, I need to build an application or make updates to an application. I have one, two, three, four client meetings today. Three of them are back to back from 10 to 1 p.m. So it's not gonna be fun, but at least I have a lunch break. And then my next meeting would be at 2 p.m. So from 1 to 2, I'll take lunch. 2 p.m. I have my final meeting of the day. And then for the last two hours, I will continue building for that same client that I'm gonna meet with tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is also kind of like a heavy meeting day as well. So usually like Wednesdays and Thursdays are like my crazy meeting days, which not really into. I like either meeting or building, but if I have to build, I'd like to just build, you know what I mean? So, and then tonight I have no plans, which means that I am going to read Empire of Storms. And then I think I'm gonna start Tower of Dawn just so I can kind of read them a little bit in tandem. But I'm halfway through Empire of Storms and I'm like, all right, let's read a little bit of Tower of Dawn so I can get as much of that done. Cause I really wanna finish reading Empire of Storms this week and then finish Tower of Dawn next week before my friend leaves um, because she's moving back to the East Coast uh because denver is expensive it's so expensive to live here anyways that is my plan for the day and i'm gonna make myself breakfast get a little bit of work done and then be on calls all day busy day busy day They literally keep changing the colors, girl. Create a new hair shower. And then we ordered the card that came with miso butter, fried artichoke, artichoke chips, lemon preserve, and crab fresh. This dish was literally heaven and I think absolutely perfect for the summer. Also we had the ox sheet. I feel like I'm a little crooked. Okay. Take off the glasses so we can see. Um, hold on. Just got a message. Yikes, what's happening? What's happening? I am eating my breakfast kind of late today, along with my green juice. Creatine concoction thing. But um Today is Thursday, we're on Friday's Eve, 
which is exciting. But also payday is tomorrow, which is very exciting. Today's agenda is a little bit busy. I have meetings kind of like all over the place up until 2.45. I've been in like a couple meetings so far. Um, I had my weekly stand-up or twice a week stand-up. Um, I had my stand-up today. And then we had a discussion with our education um, team to talk about like adopting applications with our clients and figuring out North Star goals. So yeah, I think that was a really good conversation um, to have when we're like onboarding new clients that we're working with and building out these applications to really, to really have them understand what their North Star goal is and to really always point back to that. So that was really good and very productive. Um, I had my syncs with my customer success managers who are on some of my accounts. So that was good. And then I'm about to head into my first client meeting of the day. And this client meeting really just looks at like, we're making updates to their app and also doing a little bit of expansion to their app. And so what I'm doing is I'm going through all the requirements and I'm just asking for clarification um, and like where things are and seeing like how this is working, why this is no longer working, um, how we can make it, you know, just more efficient for them. And then I have a new client called at um, 11. Uh, so I need to like fill out a survey for that, um, kind of do like my preliminary work for them. And then I have a weekly recurring build call with a client to kind of go over some things that I've built for them and prioritize uh, some other tickets. And then I have a little bit of a break and then I have my one-on-one -on -one with my manager. And then after that, I have a block of time set out to build. So like I have like maybe 45 minutes today where I can like try to squeeze in extra work but it's not enough to like have dedicated time because they're kind of sparsed out through some of these meetings I just mentioned um, but then after my one-on-one -on -one, I will have like two hours to really just like focus and build and then I have my final client meeting of the day and then I'm done so Quite a busy day, um, a little sporadic, but that's how Thursdays always are for me. And then tonight I have Bible study. We in Thessalonians, girl. So that's not until like later in the evening. So I'll have time. I'll have like an hour and a half to kind of, well, really just an hour to do whatever I want. And then... Uh, had to Bible study, but I started reading Tower of Dawn. I'm about like 70% done with Empire of Storms. And then I remembered, oh, I should tandem read Tower of Dawn with Empire of Storms. So I started Tower of Dawn, definitely a lot slower than Empire of Storms. Empire of Storms, like right out the gate, things are happening. Like you want to find out more. Um, Tower of Dawn is a lot slower, which makes sense. It makes sense for who we're focusing on in Tower of Dawn. But I started reading it last night and I was like, oof, this is going to take me a second. So I'm like going to pause in Empire Storms and then just read the crap out of Tower of Dawn today. So I'm going to use my lunch break and my break in between my last meeting of the day and Bible study to just read Tower of Dawn and try to get like at least 300 pages in today. Cause I read 10 pages last night and I was like, okay, <laughs> 10 pages meaning like one chapter. <laughs> chapter one was like 10 pages long. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to head into this meeting cause it is time. Yeah, I'm just gonna be at my computer all day um, in meetings, talking to people gathering requirements, all that stuff. Going over requirements, fun stuff.
Okay. The survey is filled out. Which is nice. Um, I'm nervous. I now have like, so before I said I had 45 minutes, now I just have 15 minutes. <laughs> um, my coworker scheduled time to like talk through um, a client that we co work together on or co build together on. So that's honestly better because when I have times where it's like, I just have a bit of chunk of time here and then meeting and then a small chunk of time here and then meeting and then meetings, meeting meetings. Like those times are not always really efficient for me. Having like a block of like one to two, four hours even is so much better for me to like concentrate on a task and like build something than being like, all right, let me see how much I can get in 30 minutes. Cause it takes time for me to like get into the task and then start working does that make sense so yeah also we just got a notification that this sd card is full um so i need to switch to a different sd card but yeah tomorrow's gonna be great though i love fridays because fridays i have nothing planned um, I have one thing planned, actually. I have one team meeting um, in the morning. But other than that, my day is empty of meetings, which means that I can just build, which most likely means that like I will either work from home for part of the day and then go to a coffee shop later in the day or start my day at the coffee shop, come home for lunch, and then end my day at home. So Friday's nice and hopefully um, I'm pretty sure tomorrow's payday. So I'm really excited about that. I got off my second to last client call and the thing that I built, they didn't like. And it has nothing to do with me. It's just the limitations of a third party integration that I used that they're just like, we don't like this. And I'm like, I put so much time into this thing and now we're gonna change it. I'm like, ah, man, that's what happens being an app developer. It's just like, you put so much time and effort into something that they like want. And then they're like, nope, this actually doesn't really meet our needs. We don't like the way that this looks. We need it to just be function and look exactly the same way as this other thing that we use and I was like I tried I tried my best but what the third party integration has and far as like tools that they have are just not meeting the needs of my client which kind of sucks I wish it did but I literally can't do anything about it. Like it's, it's not me being like, no, I can't do this thing. It's like, I tried, this is what I, this is what was available to me. And so I can't go any further. All right, I'm gonna go on my lunch break and read Tower of Dawn and change this SD card because I'm running out of storage on this. Just thinking of all the hours, all the hours. <sighs> Yo, I'm done. Today's like the first day that I'm actually done before 5.30, which is really nice. Cause sometimes I'll take a break in the middle of the day and be like, I'll just work tonight. I'm too tired to do this like in the afternoon. I just hit that afternoon slump, which is not good. 
and then I'll work late into the night and I'm just like, I gotta not do that. And I've been doing that the past couple of days, which has not been good. But today, I'm done by 5.30 and tomorrow I don't have a lot to do. And honestly, I'm in a period right now where things are a little, a little, little bit slow for me, which is nice, um, but it's gonna definitely pick back up soon and I'm gonna be at capacity again, but I'm a little under capacity, but it should only be for like the beginning of next week, which is not bad. But I had a one-on-one -on -one with my boss and talked through the disappointment that one of my clients had on something that i built and it's really just an aesthetic change and it's a it's an aesthetic change that i can't control like i'm using a third-party integration that has limited um resources on what they can provide and it doesn't necessarily replicate the standard of the application that my client is in, which also has limited features, not fully limited, I would say, but it's just like what they're asking for is possible through a third party integration. And I did that. And the third party integration has resources that are available that aesthetically do not align with the client. And it's like a minor aesthetic change, in my opinion uh but it's apparently like not a good thing for the client so talk to my boss about it and she was just like just send a follow-up email just confirm it's just aesthetic changes that the data is correct which the data is correct um and then you can provide the second solution which is not going to be aesthetic at all but it's going to give them all the information that they need um which is nice but yeah it's still kind of sex when like you put a lot of work into something and then you think oh they're gonna love it and then they're like we're not gonna use it and i'm like dang i really wish you would but can't do anything about it it is what it is at the end of the day but i am gonna continue reading tower of dawn i am how many pages into this let's see let's let's talk through this i am 25 pages in, right? Because I read a little bit at lunch and then I was watching Emma Tamsin's, Emma Tamsinsville, Emma Tamsin's recent vlog. Um, and how many pages into this am I on Empire of Storms? I'm on page 494, which is, which means that I'm starting chapter 53 in this book. So I was like, all right, let's pause because you're like 70% there. Like, I just have this much left of this book. And then let's try to like get halfway. And then once you're halfway, finish Rest of Empire of Storms. And then I can give my friend her book back on Saturday. Because I see her on Saturday. I might see her tomorrow because we work together. Um, but she's moving. So I'm like, I really want to give her her books back prior to her leaving um before the end of the month so i'm gonna try to have that finished um i still have kingdom of ash to read but these two books you can read in tandem and i feel like i started this i could have started like maybe halfway through that book this book because things that have i mean they kind of start at the same time but I don't know these two books you can read in tandem but it's like two different storylines of like one is following this one character and the things and the characters that are around them and then this story is following a different character and the things that are around this character so yeah this one's definitely a slower start but it's interesting empire of storms is way faster a lot more happens which is why i got through that book so fast and i was like wait i gotta pause and read this um each book is about like 700 pages no wait tower of dawn ends on page 660 empire of storms ends on and i'm trying not to like look at any names or anything because i've been warned empire of storms ends on page 689 so they're both about 700 pages um and then i think kingdom of ash is close to a thousand pages or it is a thousand pages which is not 
that big of a deal to me because I read Wheel of Time. Small font. Small font. So I'm going to read that uh, for about half an hour and then I'm going to head out to my Bible study. Um, so most likely I'll chat y'all tomorrow for the final day of this week because this vlog is going to be long, honey. And I really don't need it to be that way. Also, I need to get new flowers. My flowers are dying. Look at these. Like they're just, they're on their way out and I need to, I mean, they're beautiful, but like they're, they're not doing so great. Also, before I go, also before I go, I think I've mentioned this, but Awala, I think that's how you say the brand. This is the best water bottle simply because I drink so much water, which is the point of a water bottle. The, I'm a person who doesn't really like straws. Um, yeah, I don't like the straws, but this one has a straw feature, but it has a mouthpiece attached to the straw. So it's bigger and you're able to get a lot of water out of it. And I convinced my grandma to get it. And I think a few of my friends are gonna get it too. But honestly, I drink, this is my third bottle. And I can finish half of this in like a setting, like fully. It is so easy to drink so much water, which means it's so good to stay hydrated with this water bottle. I just love the like patent, um, mouthpiece on this. So check them out. A little pricey, but water bottles last you a really long time and it's leak proof and all of those things. And they have plenty of different colors. I just like the pastel colors of the top, which I mean, I'm like wearing pink. It's funny. I, as a kid, at, was active in my hate for the color pink and y'all, She's wearing pink, she has... Younger me would be shocked. Shocked. Good morning and happy Friday. <laughs> I'm so happy today's Friday. It's payday. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna spend this morning gathering my budget for the next two weeks. I really need to be on a budget and then what else am I gonna do get ready to go to the gym because my clothes are there are my gym clothes are right there so I have no excuse Yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. And we're gonna start this Friday. I'm so excited. All right. I am ready for the gym. I'm in my gym kit, as we can see. Also, I'm like loving these socks. They're so nice. They're running socks, but like, and I don't run at all ever, but they're really nice and they fit really well. They fit perfectly. They don't fit too big and I have very large feet. So the fact that they like fit well works for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to the gym now and I need to get gas afterwards. And I'm going to come back home and eat the rest of my pancakes that I made yesterday for breakfast. Um, and then I have a pile of dishes. That's all you're gonna see. I have a pile of dishes that I gotta do. Um, and I have a meeting in like an hour. So gym, 30 minutes, get gas, come home, get into my team meeting for the day, and then I'm free the rest of the day. As in, like, I don't have any client or team meetings. I just have time to build and build and build. Um, Y'all, I got like, almost i i got to like 150 pages into tower of dawn and i'm really liking it like it is slower 
then like it's not as fast paced as empire of storms but like i'm making good progress and i'm liking it just because the the supporting characters in this book i'm like ooh, new and fresh people and i'm like i really hope y'all don't die i dropped my lens cap i'm like i really hope y'all don't die that would make me so sad because like getting to know them just for them to die like but apparently it's a sarah j mass thing to do so i don't know what to expect i'm just like don't hold too closely to these characters but also like i really like them they're all so cool so anyways i'm gonna go to the gym now see y'all later Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? All right, I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. And subscribe so you can keep up to date with me on all the things that I'm doing. And yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.